Hey folks, Keith193 Lumber coming back at you with another beer. This, and I don't think I've said this in, in a while, or maybe I have, I don't remember. But this is a very exciting beer. This is Epic Brewing. Epic Brewing out of Denver. It is their Escape to Colorado IPA. Uh, this was a favorite of mine. Um, I found this in a liquor store the first time, the first time, uh, I had it, I found it in a liquor store around here and, uh, I thought it was awesome. And then I went out to Colorado for about a year and I had it out there and it was awesome. And I haven't seen it in a while, but I was out yesterday, yesterday, yesterday. I was out yesterday and I found it and there is a best by date of 3-13-2023. Um, there's no canned on date, just, just that date. So it's assuming relatively fresh uh, and, uh, or at least it's before it's best by date. Um, and yeah, so I'm super, super excited to try this uh, or to have it again. Um, and uh, Escape to Colorado IPA forever commemorates Epic's adventures in the exciting and colorful centennial state. This mosaic hop-driven IPA is bright with fruity notes and a touch of dankness. It captures the bold spirit of Colorado and is the perfect beer for your next escape. And it is 6.2% alcohol by volume. So yeah. I'm using this glass because all the glasses I usually use are dirty right now and I didn't feel like washing them. So yeah. Yeah. That's a nice orange color. Orangey. I can't tell if it's just... No, that's clear. It, it gets a little hazy on the, on the rounded corners of the glass, but uh, rounded corners. Um on the sides, but uh, I believe that is, when I hold it up to the light, I can see, it might be slightly hazy, but yeah. That's a little over a finger of a just off-white, like very uh, foamy kind of head, uh, but yeah, looks good. Let's see what it smells like. Ooh. It's it's funny because um I just uh the review that I posted today was a um was farmhouse IPA double dry hop with mosaic from uh Zillicoa. And um I guess in the in the um, in the review, I said something about there was like a soapy kind of thing going on, and someone commented on on it. I I see comments. I don't always get back to them right away. I'm, I know I'm bad at that. Um, but anyway, someone commented on it saying that mosaic sometimes gives off this like perfumey, uh, kind of soapy blueberry kind of thing, and that's exactly what I'm getting in this. <laughs> Coincidentally. Yeah. So it's um It smells a little bit soapy, floral. Uh there there's a sweetness in there. I don't know if I would specifically go blueberry, but it is It is a berry, I would say. A little bit of orange marmalade thing going on in there. And yeah, it smells really good. Let's see what it tastes like. Cheers.
This isn't how I remember it. I remember it being a little more a little more bitter. I remember it being more bitter. Maybe I'm remembering wrong, but this is sweet. This is orange marmalade. It's kind of like, <clears throat> it's on the verge of like piney resinous, but it doesn't quite get there. There, there that bitterness isn't in there. Um, ooh, I just had deja vu. Mm. Um, yeah, a little bit of the malt coming through, a little bit. They did say dankness on here, but I don't know if they meant that like kind of resinous kind of thing. Yeah, that, um, that aroma thing, that kind of soapy kind of uh, floral berry thing, it comes across in the taste, but it's not quite the same. Um, I would say it's a little more um, muted than in the aroma. But other than that, I mean, it's not what I remember it being, but I I really like this, so I am a fan. Hmm. Also, I, I would like to know, so it's 313, what, what do you think they give this? Do you think they give it a year or six months? I don't know. Man, it was really cool to try this again. It warmed up a little bit and it come it it does come across a little more specifically blueberry in the nose now. But anyway, it was super cool to try this again. Um I bought a six pack of it, so I have a few more. So it's gonna be fun. Um and uh yeah, I hope you're all doing well, taking care of yourselves, taking care of each other. You can like this video if you'd like to, subscribe to the channel if you have not already. You can follow me on Instagram at 93 Lumber, that's spelled out 93 Lumber. We'll see you in the next one. Cheers.